Hello, I'm Ryan F9, and these are the best ways to add background music to your ride. A couple options here. I can install speakers in my helmet, which usually involves digging under the comfort liner and sticking one of these in place, or I can wear earbuds and slide my helmet over top. I have pretty strong feelings when it comes to audio, so I only picked one product for each style. The best one. Euclear's Pulse speakers are the finest drop-in helmet amps Period. And I'll tell you why. Euclear arrived late to the comm system game, only to find that Senna and Cardo were already dancing with all the pretty ladies. So like any odd man out, it needed a shtick to get some action. Sound quality fit the bill. Senna and Cardo speakers are thin, lightweight, and they suck very quietly. So, Euclear made these giant 40 mil hockey pucks to blast some decent audio onto the scene. And I mean blast. And these guys run 130 decibels per milliwatt sensitivity. If you can't hear that... In fact, I find these are too loud when I mount them right next to my ears. They sound a little bit tinny from that range as well. It's best to mount them about a centimeter back. From there, the timber is impressive. It's dynamic, it's meaty, and it's more than a little heavy on the bass. Reverb sounds awesome on Pulse speakers. Hip-hop tunes are ideal. They're more Post Malone than postmodern classical. It's an emotional sound quality, if not a meticulous one. Euclear says these create hi-fi audio, but I doubt it. The 20 to 20,000 hertz range is nothing special, and I certainly wouldn't expect to hear the difference between a Spotify stream and a FLAC file. That is to say the 3.5 millimeter gold-plated jack is more bling-bling than a conductive necessity. Probably a good thing, because your iPhone is gonna wear away that coating pretty darn quick. Speaking of which, the impedance on this guy is way down around eight ohms. So small, portable music players are its bread and butter. If you're planning to plug it into the massive stereo on your Goldwing, it's not the end of the world, but you will lose some sound quality. Price tag is 50 bucks, and I would take these over any other drop-in speakers. The only downside is they're freaking massive. With the sticky mounts added, that'll make an annoying bulge in some helmets. Like two centimeters of annoying. The earbud option is less intrusive. In fact, the body of these sits flush inside my ear canal, so it doesn't poke into my helmet at all. It being the M6 Pro Universal Fit Noise Isolating Musicians In-Ear Monitors by MEE Audio, AKA bloody good earbuds. Personally, I choose these. Yes, it is convenient to have speakers hard mounted inside your helmet, but you will never beat the sound quality from a decent set of earbuds. Case in point, the M6 is a knockoff of the Shure SE215, which is widely considered one of the best sounding earbuds ever made. And so far as I can tell, the only difference is that these cost $60 instead of $120. So why is the audio so good? Well, it has something to do with the aluminum voice coil and it has a lot to do with the tiny driver diaphragm. It's five micrometers thin, allowing for really high frequencies with high precision. It's also 10 millimeters of cross, and that minimizes the warping that causes poor frequency response and smudgy audio. Result, the mid-range is provocatively clear. The bass, while not as strong as the Euclear, still has plenty of drive, but the high notes, they're orgasmic, piercing, shrill even. If Mariah Carey's Oh Holy Night isn't already your favorite riding jam, it will be with these. Of course, the downside to a tiny driver is volume. The M6 has only put out 100 decibels per milliwatt. That isn't much. Or is it? The audio isn't always about what you can make, it's about what you can block out, especially when you're competing with the sounds of a highway at 100 kilometers an hour. The M6 provides six different shapes of spare earbuds, but forget those. It's the fat memory foam tips that you really want. With an airtight seal at its base and the body filling the rest of my ear canal, these are actually too loud at half volume. They're earplugs and earbuds in one. I've actually removed the wires and used them solely for the purpose of hearing protection. It works great. There's a spare cable for when I plug them back in, and this one is braided steel too, so it won't tangle. The tops of it are also these memory bits which help bend and secure the bud to my ear. Nobody likes putting on your helmet and your gloves only to have an earbud pop out at the first tug of a wire. The memory bits help to ensure that doesn't happen. I also get a 3.5 millimeter jack, a quarter inch adapter, a couple shirt clips to keep the wire away from my handlebars, a user manual, a carrying case, 
and those six sets of spare bud sizes that are totally useless compared to the memory foam ones. This begs a question, would my regular old headphones be just as good with memory foam tips? You can find out for $15. Complies the dirty joke of the earbud industry, offering just the tip for various existing models. They're 10 times thicker than normal earbud tips. They offer twice the sound cancellation and compared to my regular old headphones, no appreciable difference. At home. On the bike, you better believe they make a difference. Roughly twice the sound cancellation, which means my old headphones sound about twice as good. You just pinch the memory foam tight and then let it expand in your ear to make an airtight seal. Pretty much every adult in the world is gonna be fine with this middle size, but Comply does give you three options because they have to justify the $15 price tag somehow. To certain cheap bastards, $15 for a piece of foam is never gonna be justified. So I've got a DIY fix. Mix equal parts silicone caulking and cornstarch, knead and roll into a baby snake, place said snake inside the hollow part of your existing earbuds, push earbud into ear so you have a comfortable seal, remove earbud, and let it solidify and shape. A voila! Custom fitting noise canceling earbuds. I like these because they drown out more wind noise and that allows me to play my music quieter. The DIY job doesn't actually do anything for sound quality in the immediate sense, but if I can avoid blowing out my eardrums today, I'll hear better tomorrow. Another way to achieve this is just to choose a really quiet helmet. There's a link to that video down below. Alternately, you could wear earplugs whenever you're not listening to music. These no-noise motorsport ones have a ceramic filter that's specially designed to remove engine and wind noise while allowing sirens, horns, and speech to pass through. I've been very impressed with my own pair. They're washable, they come in this little aluminum case for sticking in your pocket. You just really wanna make sure to wet them before use, otherwise the triple cone design, that doesn't seal that well. And that's it. Get the Uclear Pulse if you want drop-in speakers, get the MEE M6 Pros if you simply want the best riding audio. Just make sure you have medium to large ears for these, otherwise they can be a little bit uncomfortable in there. Get Comply Tips if you only have $15 to spend. If you have no money to spend, get your DIY on. And when you're not listening to music, get earplugs if you still want to be able to hear in 20 years. Thanks for watching.